Hi Cancer, I hope you're all well. This is going to be a general love reading for September 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or of course you can book a personal reading. And the roles can be reversed because it is general. All right, so let's see what are the overall energies for Cancer. We have the answer is no. All right, what to though? Let me get one more. Conclusion. <laughs> All right. It's, it's, I'm laughing because I, I literally had this thought, like the answer is no, like you're probably thinking something is over and I felt like the answer is no. Um, and then we got conclusion. So yeah, let's see, let's see. Um, it could be that you're trying to end something and maybe it just feels like this, like this connection is done. Um, but obviously, we're getting the answer is no to a conclusion. So let's see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the first half of September. For the situation, we have the Six of Pentacles crossed by the star. Alright, okay. So it feels like... I feel like you you really would have wanted this relationship or this connection with somebody um, to feel balanced. So I feel like maybe what the issue is here is that somebody is giving more attention, more affection, or just, just providing more in this connection than the other person. And it almost feels like there is no hope for this to change. Um, and But I feel like you kind of still would wish for this to be able to be balanced in that way. Let's see the recent past. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so yeah. If it, um, again, I'm getting the sense that if this is you, that you felt like, almost like you were like alone in this, like you had to do everything yourself. Um, and I do see some kind of effort, things slowly getting on some kind of a path here. We'll see when we clarify. For you, we have the Queen of Cups. For them, we have the Eight of Wands. For you, we also have the Hermit. For them, we have the Page of Swords. And potential outcome here, we have the Empress. All right, so... I feel like you're trying to stand in your power in some way. Um, definitely you still have feelings for this person as well, uh, but I feel like you're trying to keep your distance or you're trying to really figure out what it is that you want and what it is that you would want to do or you know how you should take action basically on this. I see them putting in some kind of effort here. Um, I feel like this person is somebody who wants to communicate or who wants to work things out, but they might be going at, um, they might be going towards this in a in a bit of an immature type of a way. We'll see the potential outcome though. We have the emperor, so that is actually pretty positive. Let's see. Oral clarifying. So let's clarify the Six of Pentacles with the star. Alright, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Magician. Yeah, okay, so I... I feel like it is you who is the one who is giving more to this connection, okay? But feel free to reverse the roles, all right? That's just how I'm seeing it here. So I feel like you still want to be able to manifest this connection, to manifest a new beginning in this connection in a way that's going to feel more practical, all right? So 
wanting things to be fair, right? Whatever you give, you also want the other person to be able to at least meet you halfway. So I feel like there's a part of you that still wants to manifest that, but then there's also a part of you that's kind of like blocking that out because I feel like you just don't want to deal with that anymore, all right? And that's why we have the answer is no to the conclusion because apparently you're trying to bring a conclusion and I feel like the reason we have the answer is no is because not that you shouldn't, bring about an ending, all right? If that's what you're feeling guided to, then, you know, you should definitely follow your own guidance. But the reason why we have the answer is no is because I feel like you're not 100% um, decided on that. Like, you're not so... Like, it, it doesn't feel like you have really um, finalized that decision. I feel like you're trying to. Um, but there's a part of you that still hopes that there can that this can be fixed so let's see the queen of cups in your energy all right we have the high priestess we have the lovers and we have the five of cups yeah you know this situation is bringing um a lot of sadness to you i feel like you're you're, you're feeling, you're mourning the, the connection, you're mourning what it could have been or maybe what it once was. Definitely still feeling a very strong connection with this person. Um, let me see the hermit. I feel like you're really trying to figure out what it is that your intuition is telling you, but that seems to be um, troubling you as well. Like, you're not sure. It feels like the one minute your intuition is telling you to end this, and then the next minute it's telling you, no, <coughs> don't end it, because this is such a strong connection, and the whole thing is just creating a lot of grief for you. I feel like when you think about this being completely done, maybe, you know, I mean, maybe you get angry at some some points and that can make it easier on the surface and then once that anger um, passes it it can get it can make you feel really sad thinking about the past so yeah that's that's what i feel for you so clarifying the hermit um which is also um virgo energy showing up here we also have aquarius showing up just to name a few um we have the ten of pentacles and the empress showing up again here You're thinking about what it is that you truly deserve and what it is that, how you would want your life to be in a commitment and the way that you would want this commitment to be. Um, and I feel like, yeah, you know, you, you should be feeling like you are this empress because you are and you do deserve the full ten of pentacles, which is somebody giving you their all, being able to provide you with 100% of you know, their affection, their attention, whatever. Um, at least to the extent where it is healthy, right? And for this reason, I feel like you're kind of pulling away. You're being a little bit distant um, from this person, possibly contemplating maybe that ending. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this eight of wands. Right. We have the world and we have the six of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, maybe this is a pattern that repeats itself with this person. That's just the way it's coming in for me right now. Um, I feel like this person does want to talk. This person does want to be fair. I feel like this person wants to close out a cycle of this, whatever it is that didn't feel even, right? The exchange of energy between the two of you. They want that. The intention is there. The drive is there. And I feel like they want to communicate about this. Um, but I also get the feeling that maybe this is something that has happened before. Let's see the Page of Swords. Okay. 
All right, so we have the King of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Swords. All right, yeah, so this person does have a lot of love for you. They do have the emotions, and this is why they do want to end this cycle of whatever was not um, fair, all right? They do want things to be fair, and they want to be, they want things to be fair for you as well. Um, I just feel like they were going about it in a very immature way, and possibly, um, even though their emotions are very strong and very deep for you, I feel like they just, the way that they communicate them or the way that they can communicate this or um, act on this can be a little, can come off as a little bit um, immature. Whatever the case though, right now, this person is feeling um, neglected basically by you. I feel like you're kind of doing to them in a way what they, the way that they have made you feel before. And I feel like in this is actually balancing things out in a way, like it's actually bringing some healing to them. Let's see this Knight of Pentacles for what is coming up. <clears throat> The Six of Wands, the Hermit, the Ace of Swords, and the Fool. All I feel like you really standing, or at least moving in this Empress energy, because I feel like you're not 100% there yet. I feel like that's what you're working on, though, um, knowing what, what it is that you deserve. You are still working on that. That's why you have this hermit in your energy. This is something you're still working on. By you doing that, it's actually setting off this um, motion in this person. Again, it, it is taking a little bit of time because I feel like they need to work on the way that they communicate possibly or the way that they um, go about <clears throat> addressing issues or addressing um, problems like, you know, I feel like maybe this person was neglecting you a little bit um, in the past, not really taking it seriously, whereas now you're taking it seriously, you know, the, the issue here, and so you're pulling away. That is what is serving as a catalyst to get them on this path of, okay, you know what, I need to, I need to take this seriously. All right, and that's making them move towards wanting to find a resolution here, wanting to um, start over and have better communication. All right, um, start on a new path. Have like a new, a new basis for the way in which they go about um, resolving issues in order for them to be more successful. And that is being, being kick-started by you being in this hermit mode and doing this um, inner work for yourself, moving yourself towards that Empress energy and wanting that Ten of Pentacles, knowing that you're just fully embodying that Ten of Pentacles, like, I deserve this. It's not just what I want. No, I deserve it, and that's what I'm going to have. So let's see the Empress for the potential outcome here. And the only card we got out was Judgment. Wow. All right. So that's actually really powerful. Um, this is like a, a rebirth. And I feel like this is mostly for you, right? You're the one moving towards that Empress energy here. So you are actually succeeding at that. And that is creating a rebirth, possibly a resurrection. I feel like this person might want to... Um, Take this a lot more seriously, it, like this is going to give them a lot of clarity into the situation and as to what what it was that was um, creating conflict or creating issues. Wanting to make better discernments, wanting to make better decisions, better judgments, and having clarity of their own behavior. And this is, you know, kind of in alignment with you really being this empress, meaning that you are abundant within your own self and you know exactly what it is that you deserve and you're just not going to accept anything less basically
So yeah, that's what I see coming up for you here. As long as you, you know, keep doing that, that inner work. All right, so for the final message for you, if this resonated, we have the new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Yeah, you know, so maybe you don't feel like this is 100% done. Maybe you haven't finalized that decision. That's okay. Take action, though. Either way, for your own self to become that empress. And then in turn, it's creating action from the other person, and then it will be up to you what you want to do with that. So, Cancer, those were your messages. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated. And much love.